G'day folks, welcome to this continuing playthrough of BIOS Megafauna. Um, this is the second video in the series. I covered most of the rules, most of the gameplay in the first video. I'm just going to continue playing this out so you can get a sense of uh, yeah, how the, how the game develops. Thus far, virtually no conflict. Um, but as the game ramps up and becomes crowded, we will see more of that. So, I'm going to continue straight from that point. We're on about the fourth turn. Uh, yeah, fourth turn, so I'm about to draw an event to start this off. And we have another crater. We're still in the Goldilocks zone. And I should point out one mistake I think I made was failing to update this as we headed into the warmer climate. I should have changed this around. Um, but, I forgot. So a crater appears again in Baltica. So we can see here a crater in Baltica. I roll the dice. It's a three. Now, this is interesting. Um, craters supersede glaciers and deserts. So what this means is that the white disc is removed and is effectively replaced by the black disc. Um, yeah, the, so <laughs> the order of uh, superiority is green on the lowest, then white, and then black, and they replace each other in that order. Um, all right, now we have some uh, some plate movements. We have Gondwana moving to the west, and it will smash into Siberia. When this happens, the continents are now connected. We remove the Siberia dice, and it will not move. We have some changes, so we check the the, the latitude of two and five. Um, I've got my little puppy trying to jump on the table, as you can see. Come on, come on. <laughs> a new puppy. Um, uh, so two and five. So we check this latitude, we remove all ice and place forests. So this is good for the animals player because it's ramping up the forests and the oxygen she's trying to eat. <laughs> the, um, yeah, you can't eat them. She's a little border collie kelpie. A couple of months old. All right. Um, and five as well. So we've already got forests through here. No ice. Actually, no, we don't have forests through there. Sorry. Wow. Okay. So through the latitude five, this all turns to forest. Now, these animals can still survive in these forests. It just means that five along here for five. It just means that it's no longer a weed environment. It's now a forest environment, uh, which uses the red symbol. I spoke about this in the first video. Now, the Medea supervillain, the plant player, gets to choose a black disc from land. Well, one of these two, they'll take this one and place it in the atmosphere. Yeah, that's good. That gives them back up to three actions. And they'll take a black disc from an offshore area. I think they'll take it off here, because this is where the orange player is. Oops. And they place that in the atmosphere as well. This keeps us in Eden. Right, and then we have this kind of a rare event. Uh, it basically means that each player must deteriorate, remove an orange or red plus organ if they have it. Let me get the correct, it's called metabolism radiation and it's only plus organs. So if there are any orange or red plus organs such as here, these are removed. Now, whenever we haven't seen this before yet. Whenever you remove a plus organ, from a mutation, that mutation is also removed. You lose the mutation because the organ has uh, gone. Okay, which is kind of a good thing because I was kind of thinking that's not a great card to have. I'm pretty happy, with, the green player is pretty happy with that, that result. That's it for events. Uh, not a lot to go through there. Um, now we have turn order. We have orange first and then green. The orange player, the plant player, they have three actions. They're very close to four actions, um, but not quite there. Checking the temperature again, we're still at Eden, so we're all good there. What is this orange player going to do? They could do with some more survivability. Um, I'm looking, there's no sort of basis for emotions here. Um, because we have quite formidable, well, slightly less formidable, but uh, what might we grab here? Three actions. 
you know what? I could grab a rhizome. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna do this for reasons which you'll soon see. I'm gonna grab this, one action. I'm going to promote it, two actions. Yeah, you can see that white cube again, which I love. But the benefit here is there is also a basis for emotions. It's two actions. For three actions, I am going to, I'm looking over here, they can only spend four, so they've taken two points worth. They can't take that. That's a shame. But I could take this and prepare, prepare to upgrade that. The card just doesn't want to slide in there. Game can get a bit, a bit messy with the cards shifting here and there, but uh, the reason I've done that is because I'm going to upgrade this in the future and give me a yellow emotion, which will give me a, a discount on yellow cards plus a victory point for having that... Um, Sad emotion, I think the yellow emotions are. You don't have to worry about what they are, but I think yellow is sad. I think green is happy. Um, yeah, purple is curious, perhaps. Anyway, that's orange's three actions. We now go over to green. And they also have three actions. The row refreshes. And once again, there are no horror monsters, horror, horror plant icons up the top there, so they can't take any of those. Uh, and we have all our animals. Wow, this is really frustrating. We have all our animals, all our archetypes on the map. So our currency is zero. That means I can only take this card. What the heck? Let's do it. I'm going to take one. You take that. Two to promote. But when you promote to a species, it's called speciating. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Two to do that. We take the worms. They are at the same size as they... Oh, I can't do that. I did this exact same thing in the last video, didn't I? I can't even do that. I am in a bit of trouble. Um, because I've, I've kind of... I should have speciated early. I don't have any currency to buy the cards. The size of this... I could make them venomous. Do I want to have... Look, these guys are both pretty small. They'd have to be larger than my plants to be able to eat them. I don't have much else to do, so I'm going to make this... Do the same thing. Mutate. Promote. So instead of speciating to a size that I can't do, because it's smaller than the, the mother species, I'm going to just promote that to a venomous stinger. So now I have these venomous plants with egg cases that basically move around. What that means is that my archetypes can no longer be eaten unless <clears throat> the predator is larger. So these poor horned slugs can't eat me anymore. And this is an, yeah, so this is an interesting development. Now I, um, now I have one action left, but there's nothing I can really take. So in lieu of of populating in lieu of my uh, mutating and all this kind of stuff, I might go neo teeny and remove voluntarily remove one of those blue organs. This um, reduces my dispersal range, but I'm already all on the board, and this gives me I think a little bit more flexibility. My black heart limit is, is sorry six, so I've got a lot of a lot of scope plus two, a lot of scope to grow, but I just. I didn't really need that blue cube. It provides me some flexibility for the future. That's in the, the turn. There were no newborns that turn, so no births. There is potential death from this orange cube. Now, it does not have orange uh, archetype. Sorry, it does not have that white cube. Notice the white cube is on the swimmers, not the archetypes. So it has to die. It dies and returns there. So the the archetypes in this area become endangered. Uh, yeah, they die. They're buried. Um, it happens. They can't eat these things. The, pre the, the poisonous plants can eat the slugs, like a Venus flytrap kind of idea, um, but they can't be eaten by the slugs. The slugs will die if they try to eat these poisonous, venomous plants. Um, technically, I think the rule is venomous, but we can think of them as being poisonous. Okay, let's uh, move to the next turn. We're up to turn... I think we're four or five now and we have the movement 
We're still in the Goldilocks Eden zone. This is where the, the disk is. The movement of this continent. So we look at the continent. It does have a dice in it, so it can move. And it moves down one latitude. So it's going to shift down to there. With the centre at five. Lower latitudes at six. Upper latitudes at four along here. Then we have latitude four. We remove all ice from this area. There is no ice. And wow, we have more forests emerging. Along four. So not much. But now the, the animal player is going to get four actions. And they've got a black heart limit of seven. The Medea supervillain is going to move a black disc and place it in the atmosphere. That's going to trans uh, shift this now to a warm climate it's not too hot it's just warm and this does a few things um, actually what does it do it uh, doesn't do much it doesn't change the wind direction doesn't change the latitude temperatures there's still ice but it will mean we, we draw from an, a different deck for next turn's events now if we are in the microbial range which we are not. Okay, this is the microbial range, and we're not there. And then we have more radiation, blue and green. So we lose a blue cube from there. It's not the last blue cube, so nothing is lost. We lose a blue cube from there, which loses that those windborne seeds. That's unfortunate. And I should have replenished that. And we lose a blue cube from there, but it's not the last one, so we don't lose the mutation. Okay, so cubes lost all over the place there. Then we head to the next turn, and turn order is green, then orange. And what is green going to do? Well, there was no um, mutagen events, so the cards haven't changed up the top there. They've still got a cost of zero, so this is all they can buy. Um, and it doesn't really... It doesn't really help them. Um, this is the problem. If you don't think carefully about what you're doing, if you don't speciate early, you're really restricted to this one species. I should have done that. So that's that's an example of some silly mistakes. I bred too quickly, spread my species out across the world without thinking about um, their future evolution. They are really stuck here. Um, they can only buy one of these two cards. That one doesn't have the horror monster on it. They could buy this. Um, they can't do much with it because they can't promote it. Let's just buy it anyway. They can't promote it because um, it has an emotion. They have emotion possibilities here. And you can only have one emotion row. And I already have an emotion row. And it's the green, light blue color. And that is not matching. Uh, in a bit of trouble there. That's all they can do. They have three actions, but one, and they're done. They are done. Ouch. Okay. Orange player. Four actions now. Uh, time to start thinking aggressively. Or maybe we don't think aggressively. Maybe we just think about peacefully expanding. We could think aggressively about getting rid of all these... All these um, green blobs but we see the problem that green is uh, that green is in here and with their low currency and it's actually working out quite well so what we might do is what we might do is think of a way to survive get more species out on the board and have them survive against these poisonous green blobs um, are there any flyers? Let me look at this. There are no flyers. We only have one possible species to speciate here, and they're swimmers, which we already have, so we can't do, we can't speciate into that card. We have yellow emotions here. We could take this and get a yellow discount. Why not, eh? Wrists and ankles. Let's promote this. Get a yellow organ, and then sorry, let's uh, mutate this, and then let's promote it. To get, when you have an emotion line, we'll just do this. 
So yellow tends to be better early game because by late game you've got a lot of forests. And we're only in mid game, but already we have a lot of forests on the board. It's, I think it's quite rare to have this many forests appearing um, so early. This now gives us a 50% uh, discount on all yellow cards. So I can buy this instead of costing six, it'll cost me three. Um, it's, I've already spent two, so I actually can't afford it anyway. But uh, yeah, pretty happy it increases my survivability. Got a good black upland of seven, plus two is nine. I've got five cubes, so I'm doing, doing pretty well. That's one, two actions, and my four actions can be spent across my species. So, you know, I could, I've got three over here, I could buy uh, anything from around here. Mm, let's buy, I'm thinking I might buy either a tooth plate or grasping limbs. Oh, you know what? I could speciate. Let's do that, let's make some slugs. So I'm going to speciate this, promote it basically into slugs, snail type things. They're at size two, so they adopt the same size as their mother. And I must immediately choose a mother, this was a mother here, to be, what am I gonna think here? Where do I want to migrate to? There is a lot of scope out here, so I'm gonna take this one off, it goes back to the mother. And, uh, and it gets the same base organs as the mother. Okay. I've got one action left. I might try and populate. So one plus blue is two. We'll get some of those snails out. Um, so now we have orange with three different species and they're getting stronger. You can see the swimmies here quite good versus the plants who are really struggling to do anything with their turn. Um, right, we get head into, that's the end of their turn, we get into the newborn phase. They have a movement of two, three, so I can go one, two, three. Now let me show you this contest, because I think I'm gonna win this. A, you resolve contest immediately, so I've got one newborn to resolve. Here is the contest card, very difficult to see, but I'll try and hold that up so you can see. So we're looking at a herbivore contest. These are both herbivores. And we, they're competing for the plants in the area to see which is the dominant species. No, no um, predators in this area, so we ignore that. We look to see next, um, it's called humidity, but basically it is, you look at the latitude, if it's green, it is who has the most green cubes. Well, <clears throat> my, oh, I don't actually have any. I was thinking my dolphin, my swimmers had green cubes. The snails don't have any green cubes. What was I thinking? Let me rewind that. That's a bad idea. <laughs> one, two. We're going to stop there. Next baby is going to go one, two, three. Right across the middle. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't eat them because they're poisonous, so I can't be a predator. Um, and they can't eat me because they're not of the same type. Right? They, archetypes can eat other archetypes. That's about all they can eat. See, I was thinking, for some reason I thought I had a green cube over here. I was wrong. End of the turn, we head into the last card event of the era. Oh, there's going to be some rapid movement. We're in the red zone now, so we draw from the red. And, what is it? Ah, oh, Siberia doesn't have a dice, so it doesn't move at all. So if the plate to move has no dice, it doesn't move because it's attached to Gondwana. We check the latitudes again, 0 and 7. There are no... Um, biomes in those areas. But we do have four and we just, did we just forest four? Maybe we didn't just forest four because that's a four. And yeah, it doesn't change much, but uh, a lot of oxygen in the air. We're looking at 30% oxygen. It's very difficult to see here. Now, interesting, the plates break up. So actually, no, they would break up, break up if there was three or more joined together. Um, <clears throat> this is recorded to as, referred to as Pangaea Drift. Any continent has three or more Kratons. And that's not the case. So we have the next event and Medea Supervillain, the plants again choose a black disc from Earth. There are none. These are offshore, so nothing happens there. And then they take a green from oxygen and place it in offshore. They, they don't need that because it's, wow. We have a really, really oxygen-filled 
environment. 34% oxygen. Very interesting. A lot of, a lot of greenery out there. Uh, offshore possibilities. And turn order is orange, green. Uh, but before we do that, we... No, at the end of this turn, we do scoring. Okay, so... Uh, orange first. They are going to try to get some more slugs out, so they're, they're going to populate. And they'll populate again. Oops, sorry, that should be... And again, no mutagen event. They'll populate again. You know, they're going to be quite nasty. They see this dolphin, and they know that the green player wants the species. So they're going to take that and just give their blobs a bit more survivability. It's a nasty move. So I've got one, two, three, populate, four, populate. We've got another dolphin out there, what the heck. And green is frustrated. The deck refreshes. What the hell? Oh, okay, it's not so bad. They have zero defense. So they can buy a card from this row. No horror icon here, but they can take this. They're thinking, okay, I can buy that. That's a green organ. They're going to promote that to this, which gives them two additional green organs and a green emotion. And that gives them a discount on green. So it helps them a little bit. Um, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So one, two. What else are they going to do? It doesn't really help them at all, does it? Because they've got a cost of zero. So 50% of zero is still zero. Uh, what else can they do? Look, Neo Taney, they'll get rid of that because they don't need that many green organs. Um, they outnumber everyone else, so they're fine. And that's all. So this replenishes. And we do score. How do we do newborns? Apologies. So let's go from here. Um, they have a movement of three. No, oh, that's unfortunate. They can't go very far. Where can my dolphins go? Let's do these first. One, one, two. They can survive in swamps. And then we'll just spread our worms around a bit. And our archetypes have a movement of three as well. They'll try to survive here. And... They can't go any further. They can't survive in the water. They can't eat dolphins. Can't eat themselves. Can't eat the poisonous plants. So they instantly die. If there's nowhere they can go, they return back to their species card. Okay. End of the turn, we now award victory points. And with only two players, green has more species on the board than nobody. So they get zero points. Orange has more species on the board than green, so they get one fossil icon, and they're currently winning the game based on various factors, both species on the board plus fossil icons. And with that done, we shuffle these cards back in. And we head into the Mesozoic era. Once again, we draw five event cards. Five turns to go, we're roughly halfway through the game. We shuffle these as well. And we start turn, we're up to now, turn seven. With an event. We're going to have some movement. We're still in the warm, too hot, warm zone. So we draw an orange event and Again, Siberia won't move because there's no, no dice on there. We check latitudes again, zero, four, and seven. Four has already been forested and there's no ice there, so nothing to worry about. Con I think this is the same one here before, constant will break. There's no black discs on land. We remove something, a black from the atmosphere and place it offshore, and not many options left. And we remove green from atmosphere. There are no options for green. So, oh, wow. 
turn order is orange then green orange 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 um they're big plants that's the only problem here they, they can't be eaten because they're so big um for my poor worms just cannot cannot compete with their size unless i'm poisonous myself unless i'm poisonous myself so i could take a secretion gland and eat eat those worms or if i get a tool no that won't matter or will it i don't think it will i think this is easiest if i'm poisonous myself i'm pretty sure poison can eat poison uh can poison eat poison cannot be eaten unless it's venomous itself immune or larger J7E, I don't know how to become immune. Oh, of course, and most tools provide immunity. So if I become poisonous, if I get poisonous slugs, um, they can then be eaten. They'll also give me another blue, which will help with movement, dispersal. I'll do that. One, I have four actions. Two. poisonous and I'll reproduce three get more slugs out there well, now we're looking towards a predator competition here where I need red and I'm not going to be able to win that competition so maybe I don't want to reproduce them just yet what do I want to do I want to increase the movement of my slugs to get them across this this area so I might go two three increase their size four increase the size of my swimmers so they can also move further righto greens go they have three actions we replenish this again no horror well there's one all up here which i can't afford what i can do is yeah i'm going to no i can't do that i need a tail i need a green tail that's a green head what am I going to do with this poor green plant? They cannot do much at all. Um, again, just going through the actions. They cannot, they can mutate. They can promote mutation, but this is the only thing they could mutate. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're at their black heart, well, plus two. They're very close to their black heart limit. And if there's no point taking this card, if there's nothing they can do about it. Um, promote a mutation, populate, they're already populated. They could neotany again, they could resize. Why not? They're gonna resize up to a, f well, they can't because they have organs that limit their size. Limit to three, limit to three. So they can't even do that. Ah, oh, they just, they had to pass. This is terrible. Green has really cornered themselves with their early game decisions. Whereas, as you can see, orange has really opened up possibilities here. That's the problem with populating too much. All right, uh, that's the end of the turn. There are no newborns, no newborns, no deaths. So we go straight to the next turn. You can see how the game can really flow. Um, all right, we have some movement. We have Laurentia smashing into Baltica. When that happens, the offshore discs are removed. It smashes in there. It destroys the forests on those collision points and creates mountains, inhospitable mountains. We do have a mutagen event coming out. We check latitudes two and five. We create forests there. And five, it's already, already well, no, it's not. Already forested. The Medea supervillain will choose. They're going to forest their own area. And what the heck, will forest there. Uh, then we have the mutant limit. So every every species must check their black heart limit. Animals have a limit of seven and they are easily less than seven cubes each. Plants have a limit of six and they are within that one, two, three, four, five, six. And they have a bonus of two, of course, for having the white organ. So everyone is okay. The only thing that really happens then is cycling of these cards. And, well, that's green 
gives green something to be happy about because there's an animal right there, but it's no horror plant icon. Ugh. Okay. That's the Mutagen event. Green removes a cube from atmosphere and places it offshore. Well, there's only one left. And then they remove a cube from... Oh, there are no oxygen left, so they ignore that as well. And that's the event. Green goes first. They can't take that. Uh, they don't want to take that. There's nothing they can do. Screwed. All right. Orange. What are they going to do? They're doing so well. Uh, let's look at their slugs and how they can make them more survivable. So what do? What can the slugs do? Maybe. Maybe. Actually, sorry. I'll go back to the beer plants. At the moment, sorry. What can these guys do? Dolphins are doing really well. Maybe they'll um, they'll populate with another dolphin. Um, yeah, I should maybe do something with these guys. What do we want to do here, though? A white cube, perhaps. Might increase increase to increase their size a bit. Yeah, let's increase them to four. Which means that my, my, because they're so large, they can now eat the poisonous plants. They are larger than the plants, they can eat the plants. And with that in mind, let's populate. Oh, this could be their, <clears throat> their last thing, because now they've got no currency as well. But yeah, let's eat the, oh, do I want to eat the blobs? I kind of don't want to eat the blobs, because I know how much trouble this is causing green. So I've gone one, two, increase in size, populate. Um, look, I'm going to take this, increase the survivability, three, and then I'm going to speciate, which is to populate a new species of worms. I get all my worms, they're the same size as their mother, which is two. Yep, that's their maximum size, so they're good. I replace a mother with one of the parents. Uh, yep, that'll do. And they copy the base organs of the mother. So blue, blue, yellow, red, slash pink. And wow, orange is doing really well. Four species on the board, really good populations. Green just hamstrung. That's in the turn. New babies come out. It's just one little dolphin. I was going to see what I could do with it. Um, so the dolphins have a movement of three. That's all. Um, let's try and put them down this ocean down here. Uh, yeah, it's two to move through there. So one, two, yeah. Maybe I could increase the size of the dolphins and get them to move further. Okay, so you can see it looks very orange. Not a lot of green blobs. It's hard to see with this top-down view, but the green blobs here, a few predators. Um, yeah, they're okay. They Green can eat them. They're both poisonous. Which is fine. I think poison can eat poison. I think... Poison can eat poison. The carnivore must be venomous itself to eat. Yes. That is the case. All right. On to the next turn. And we have a meteor... Uh, sorry, a crater appearing... Oops, wrong event. We're in the green Eden zone. So a crater... Uh, Crater appears here, it appears in five, <clears throat> which is here, which is going to hurt my poor dolphins. They'll have to disperse, which they can do because I have a white cube. Uh, so crater appears there. Zero, four, and six. All the forests are out. Um, tidal wave, so no disks on the inland seas. A mutagen event, we clear these out again.
Good news for the green player. But they won't be going first. Uh, and one, uh, three, four, five, six, within limits, within, everyone's within limits, they're all pretty happy. If we are, oh no, sorry, we, the, the green player takes a white disc from the atmosphere, which they don't want to do. They're down to two actions now, and they place it windward side of a mountain. So they could, um, there aren't many mountains. There's only really two mountains. Let's put it, oh, where's the wind blowing? It's blowing that way. So that's become a glacier, I think. Three, yep, yeah, mountain here. That's all they could, you know what they're going to do? They're going to endanger themselves just to try and help. Uh, okay, and black disc, there's no black discs left and there's no green discs left as well. So the last two events don't happen. And orange is first. Orange, orange, orange. What are you going to do? Um, heading towards the end of the game, so let's think about um, populating. Get as many points as possible. Let's try and get some worms. Did I miss some worms? Yes, I did miss some worms. Get some worms out on the board. In fact, let's increase the size of our worms. So one, two, three, and hmm. will my blobby survive? Four. So lots of babies because we're heading into the end of the game. Uh, green player, uh, what can they do? Okay, I think I think they can finally. Oh, we're down. Sorry, apologies. We should be back in Goldilocks Eden. Uh, actually, Goldilocks. Ooh, cool. So I should have done that first, but uh, when that happened, yeah, I think, we, I think we're fine. Okay, this now changes. It's getting very cold, <clears throat> and latitudes five and two are now icy. Okay, so green is going to take this. One, two, they're going to speciate. Speciate with their snails. That size, they can't speciate. Same mistake I've made before because the maximum size of the snails is too big. Ah, but we have this sensory hair, so I may as well grab it because I can't grab much else. It's not. It's not great. Um, there's not much else I can do. I could promote that to get another red, but then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm at. I'm pretty much at, or just below my my black heart limit. So I'll leave it there. Nothing else. Nothing else to be done. Um, yeah, and replenish these with not much happening. Wow, uh, okay, let's get these new babies out for orange. Um, they can now, they're slugs, so they can now eat these poisonous blobs and they can go, I'll create, we'll go, they can go there and eat those poisonous blobs. And the worms, which have a movement of three, four, five, can go one, two, three. Oh, they can't go far. We do. Can we outcompete? There's still a bit of a conflict here. Are they going to eat my own blobs? This is not cannibalism. This is eating different species. Um, oh, my dolphins should have died last time, I think. Or was that? No, that was just then, wasn't it? Um, so I'll do that in a moment. I'll create a conflict here and we'll see what happens because I don't have many other places to go. Um, okay, so it's a carnival contest now. Can they both eat the prey? Yes, my blobs, my blobs, well my blobs are poisonous, I'm larger, these blobs are not larger, they are, sorry, so I'm looking at worms, and these guys, these are pretty, um, pretty robust, 
So they are both prey suitable. They can both eat this blob. It's poisonous, but they're both larger. Who then is better at living in this red environment? Well, two red cubes, it's the blobs. So they survive and I'll die there. And in fact, I don't think there's many other places where I can go. The worms are kind of, oh wait, can I go one? No, it's a mountain, so one, two. Three, four, five, nope, can't. One, two, four, five. No, there's not many places I can go. So a lot of that worm population was uh, futile. Um, I don't think I can even eat. I can, don't even, I can't compete. My, yep, I'm gonna lose all those blobs as well because they can't go far. Two, three, four. Hold on, I go all the way around the world. One, two, three, four. Yes, I can. And then I'm kind of stuck. Can I compete in a herbivore contest here? Let's have a look. There is a carnivore here. Um, who is a carnivore? It's my snails. The snails can eat them. Can my. Sorry. Yeah, they can both be eaten, so that's fine. They're both edible by the snails. This is really weird. Uh, prey size, whoever is closest to, sorry, it's a herbivore contest. So humidity, who has the best green? I have one, they have two, so I'm gonna lose that as well. So this is where green has advantage. They have a super strong archetype here that is good at winning these contests. So they're good at surviving on the board unless things turn to ice. Um, and then we do work through endangered. So the dolphins can go one, Let's say movement, three, that's only three. So they can go one, two, three into there. The little green thing here, it's gonna die because I wanna get some points back. So he's not going to, he could probably move around somewhere. One, two, three, yeah, he's got a fair bit of movement, but I wanna, I wanna get some more currency. Ouch. All right, and that folks is the end of the turn. We've only got two turns to go, but I'll wrap it up here and continue at another stage. So yeah, this, this video really focus on some of the conflicts that begin to occur. It's hard to follow, and it's probably one of the hardest aspects of the game, following um, these contests. Uh, basically, you follow it from top to bottom. You've got to keep in mind whether it's a carnivore predator contest or a herbivore prey contest. So you just follow this flowchart. This is if there is a predator in this space, you do this. Otherwise, you just move straight down to this, this, this thing. You just follow it down and, and do these contests for each space yeah, where there's a contest as it happens. Uh, yeah, two minutes to go. We'll cover that later. Thanks for watching, folks, and take care.